I don't. Please. And this is why I don't pull. My soul is tormented by a sucky bitch. Call a sis. Pants who dripping from the way I spit. Fell in love with this. Sis got music. Now she in my grips. Wanna take a sip of her only signs that sips. No, no questions asked. Always lent. Only smash. Trying up my sis. Got team. Get a foot off in your ass, boy. I ain't talking about that DOA. But shotty's jiggle physics on the level of a yachty man. What is up, dibs? It is your boy D. Welcome back to the channel and more Destiny Child Global. In today's video, we're going to be diving into Ragnar Break Season 38 Nothing Venture, Nothing Gained, and we're going to be doing some summons for a well rounded own Roy dibs. So, <laughs> yeah, let me explain where this Ragnar comes in at. This Ragnar actually comes in after the summer event uh, that we got last year at some point that kr got the same time and jp got it's weird so when this ragnar goes up what's going to happen later on once i re-upload the summer event which i'll probably upload soon after this is going to be put inside the playlist before this even though the, the how the storyline plays out is just weird as shit but um i'm going to try to line things up in the way the story the storyline actually sets it up yeah, Deb. So, yeah, welcome to this during event. So, as I said, today we're summoning for um, Onroy. But before we do, let's go ahead and dive into all the meat and potatoes we got with this. Of course, we still have this limited edition stuff going on right here where you could buy a whole bunch of shiznit, man. I mean, look at this, man. Look at all this you can get right here, man. Don't you tell me that this is not mouth watering right here to actually spend your hard on bucks on, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just not going to. Even though it's definitely well worth it. I'm not going to. It's definitely well worth it. Getting puppets, all that good stuff, man. Look at this, man. Just look, look at this shiznit, bro. Man, you tell me it don't make you like, oh. Just, oh. <laughs> man, seeing this just makes me want to go, oh, 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 bro. I'm with it, 100%. So if you want to buy that, go for it. All right. So going for our missions pass, I am a few days late. Of course, we do have Lynn phase limited time missions going on for the best water type units, dibs. So it's showing off Kika right here, looking boss as hell. Bad, one of the best water type attackers of all. Then we have uh, Magnificent r -Hots. Followed by Baby Girl, I have no idea, Noriha, oh, Nord Hasata uh, Norti, is some Buddhist name. Followed by our boy Lil Daddy Leo, you already know, he told Leo, he told you shut the fuck up, so you already know how that is. And then we also have our girl Dashing Dahlia right here as well, so... Like I said, dibs, top water type units that you can buy out for $9.99.99. Over on Google Play, you may get it for a little bit less. Maybe about $7 less, maybe 5 So it could save you just a little bit. And then after that, you see all these missions right here. Basically, get them all to level 50 and all that stuff. And then once you get down here to the level 2, maximum at the level 60, you pay a number purchase of $49.99. Give or take over on Google Play, you'll pay about $44.99, $45.99. And then the rest of the missions from that point on, you'll just automatically unlock after you get them all to level level 60 in that case. Next up, we do have our limited time missions for the new unit on Roy. Look at this, Dibs. You tell me this ain't a snack right here. I'm so well, I'm so good on I'm wanting to get her. So I want her. Well-rounded on Roy will be mine. And she is a water type support. For the first per two purchases right here is two separate purchases of $49.99 in this case, Dibs. So, you are in the routine. If you um, end up buying this, I would suggest you buy it over on Google Play, as always, Dibs, because it could be a little bit cheaper. Save you a little bit of money overall, and you know the routine. Saving is the best bet in this case. These are two separate purchases. For the first one, you'll get On Roy herself, followed by 30 Blood Gems. Her spa skin, of course, and you'll also end up getting 7,000 crystals. For the next purchase, you'll get a water type 5 star child summon ticket, followed by 40 more blood gems, armor crafting stones, weapons crafting stones, and accessory crafting stones, divvies as well. That's going to be for the second purchase of $49.99. Now, these next two purchases are going to be a separate two purchases of thirty of $29.99 or over on Google Play $20. Five nine nine, I believe it will be if you if you have Google Play dibs. I believe that's what's gonna happen. Don't quote me. I know in the shop on Google Play, 
um, certain purchases are cheaper. So um, I'm pretty sure this is the same thing. I haven't checked it in a while. But for the first purchase of $29.99 over here on the tap version, as you can see, you get a four star, a five star water type five star charge on the ticket, another 40 blood gems, followed by one million gold, 100,000 onyx, and 10,000 stamina. And for our final purchase, we'll get our second copy of Onroy, followed by another copy of Respa skin, and another 6,700 crystals. So it's definitely worth it if you guys have it and you can afford to whale, which your boy cannot afford to right now. Unfortunately, you can't. I can't afford to right now. Um, if I'm going to spend anything, it's going to be on Nikkei to get those limited units. <laughs> That's what it's going to be. Now, after that, as you can see, we do have the uncapped missions. Plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, and plus six dibs. This is going to be free after you purchase out these missions right here. Dibs. So it's definitely worth it in the end. And you could do this in conjunction with other missions, such as the actual... Um, missions right here which we'll get to in a minute so these are going to be her summoning missions right here basically if you summon the 15 times summon up to 15 times without getting her or before getting her say you get on your 15 summon you'll still complete this but if you get her before you get to the 15 summon this mission is over which sucks so many balls but it's a pity thing if you don't get her at all through your 15 summons at all they give her to you for free that's what this is for. So if you summon 15 times, you don't get her. They just want to give her to you because they're like, damn, your luck was horrible. Which happens to me quite a lot in KR. Quite a damn lot. Which is why I said I'm only summoning five times. Unless it's a Ragnar break. Then in that case, I may got to summon more than once. Especially this time. Because it's a, dark, it's a, water, it's a light type unit. I'll be a little bit there and I want that. But as you can see, summon five times. You get a spa skin. Summon ten times. You'll get... 3,375 crystals and another spark can skin and for the 15 summons you'll get a copy of Onroy followed by you'll end up getting 3,730 I mean 3,375 more crystals and another copy of her spa skin. So these are the missions I was saying you can do in conjunction with her actual um, limited child missions. As you can see getting her level 50 right here will give you um, 1,500 crystals. Getting her to level 60 will give you a spa skin a big five star a rotor heart which will be used to get her to level 60 and all that uh, all that with five more of them followed by a five star galaxy napping place now as you can see this is going to be the ignition ignite to level to level two level eight and level 12 to get these rewards right here which is going to be ignition core material boxes and all that stuff and uh, ignition core attack core box and all that stuff as well and for the last one this is what i meant you can do in conjunction getting plus one plus two plus three plus four plus five and plus six on her which is uncapping so this is what i meant you could do in conjunction with these missions right here dibs as you can see it is the same thing in this case so most definitely worth going for now moving on down we do have the reading missions right here which is basically going through the dungeon for the ragnar Birchens call nothing ventured nothing gained as i already have, have said which will give you 400 more crystals and we'll also give you gold right here. Looks like another 10,000 of it. And these water stones and all that stuff. And of course we have Desi's Reasonable Summit going on. Which I need to start getting on the Google Play version. Which will um, help me to get that done. Next up we do have the Devil Pass going on here. In the Arch Devil Pass. For the Arch Devil Pass. You receive a 4 star. I mean 5 star water type child summon ticket. Onroy's Spa Skin. Which it doesn't make sense to just put a 5. But it makes sense to put Onroy there herself. Just saying. And you'll also get a 2022 spa skin select box right here, dips as well. So most definitely worth the adventure. Well, actually, no, you'll get on way up top here by buying out the Archdale Pass. So that's actually great in that matter. So it's definitely worth buying it out. <clears throat> All right. We also have this going on. We now have this right here, which is going to be hell mode for the underground arena. We haven't even got Kuwami unlocked yet. Did they? Did they give us Kwame? We'll check it out in a minute. All right, so let's go to the Ragnar break itself. So I haven't fought yet in this Ragnar, as you can see at all. Let's check the Ragnar shop first things first. So in the Ragnar shop, as you can see, by completing this right here on stage one, you'll receive a Ragnar chest right here, child select box, which I'm going to actually be going for more copies of my girl Belial in this case, because Belial is bay. On stage two, get a A-grade weapons ticket. On stage three, get an A-grade armor crafting ticket. And on stage four, you get an A-grade accessory ticket. And on stage five, you will get your next five, next Ragnar skins, the Ragnar Child select box right there. Now, if we are to go over here to the Ragnar Burst, this is how we will get our Karachi skin. Unless Dibs 
yeah, this time we'll get our Kodotri skin right here by actually just beating this shit right here. As you can see, it took a lot of the Ragnar skins out of this motherfucker, actually. So, yeah, good thing I have them already. But yeah, this is how you get this delicious snack right here. That's how you get your hands on it if you were wondering right there. So come in here, beat that ass, and you'll definitely get that. More than, the, more than likely, I will be beating that ass my damn self on camera. Next up, if we go to our Ragnar missions, this is how we'll get our third Ragnar Child select box right here, which will be my next copy of Baby Girl Belial. I love you so goddamn much. I really do. And all that good stuff. And you'll also get 3,000 crystals and a five-star Soul Card to Ticket, which is going to be the normal one right there. All right. So let's before we actually go into our drawers and go into our inventory, I want to go over here. I want to collect this real quick. I want to go ahead and um just do one of these. I'll do the rest in a minute once we're done. Once you're done, I'll once we're done here, I'll do the rest of them. No big deal. I'll just set it for 12 hours at 12 o'clock and be done with it. All right. And um yeah, what we're doing? So yeah, we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to the underground arena. So I'm not even sure because I didn't read the update notes this time. We got Kuwami mode, bro. Okay, so we're gonna separate. It's a separate video to seeing if we can bust ass in Kuwami mode, which I know I can. But the new shit is this nightmare over here, which is hell mode, and we can't go in there yet because we have not beaten extreme, which is Kuwami. So once we beat Kuwami, we'll be doing that as well. Damn. So we're gonna see if we can get through it together. All right, all right, all right. So. Let's go ahead over here, collect this. I still gotta finish this off. I have not really been doing my job in this piece that well and all that stuff, but let's go to our inventory. Let's collect out on all of this right here. And let's see what we got, what we get. Oh yeah, that's right, from buying the skin. All right, do do do, boom, garbage. Next up, what do we get from here? What are we gonna get from here? What are we gonna get from here? Okay, yeah, the audio is down, and garbage. And let's see. All right, yo, come on, Mr. Lag, Lag, Mr. Golden Lag. It's going to be balls. It's nothing but fodder. I'll collect her later. I'm not too pressed on getting her right now. And let's go ahead and get our summons done. That's what's up. We got Kiwami mode, and we also got this going on every day. Right here. Also, there is one more thing that I want to show you guys before we do our summons. I know this is dragging out, but there's a lot of things that you need to know. So we do got something new for our equipment, I believe. I'm correct. We did get the new thing for the equipment as well. So let's go over here. I want to go to BAM. And let's see, do I have any S class? So yeah, if I am correct, if I click on this yes they brought it in so this will allow us to enhance our equipment even further like say you got s grade on it and you get one of these stones right here it will allow you to actually get a better grade so here's what i'm going to do i'm actually going to go ahead and i'm going to um and once i get some of these i will show you in a separate video but you get these you roll it again and it gives you a chance of getting a double s on here or a double a it won't change the first s it will just change the second syllable the second letter so that's pretty goddamn cool right there for your equipment it goes for armor accessory or your weapon that you put on your child unit so that's what's up as well dip so i hope i didn't miss anything right there overall i believe i got everything but yo, I'm happy that that finally came. We also got this costume for Artemis, which they released this costume quite a bit early, if I'm remembering this properly, because I believe this just dropped over in KR not too long ago. I'm pretty sure this just released in KR, like really not too long ago. So don't quote me. I may be off. I may be wrong here. Um, so I just double checked and yeah, this costume literally dropped last Ragnar and KR. So I have no idea why we're getting it so soon, but Hey, if that's what they want to do, cool beans. I'm happy for it. I'll definitely move. Most definitely will buy it out. All right. So as I said, it's time to do our summons dibs. That's quite a bit early to release that costume. We got another Artemis, which I really don't need. So I'm probably using it for farther, but all right, let's do our summons for own Roy. We also got these other summons going on. Maybe I'll do some for Dahlia. I don't need no more Norkies as well. I don't know why they got her in here. Maybe for, maybe she's here Lily because they brought a new costume back for her. That's the only thing I can think of. Maybe I'll do some summons for Dahlia. I'm not 100% sure or any of the other girls that's available in here. Cause I mean, she's good for Ragna. I mean, um, Kaseya is good for Ragna. 
And I mean, your mirror is good for for uh, PvP. So I mean, that's also good. Um, but Dahlia, maybe, maybe it depends on how many draws it takes for me to get my hands on Own Roy and all that. Plus, on top of that, we do have a new summon, a new ticket right here that I want to go for for Lisa. So, hey, come on, gods of RNG, let's go, RNGs, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, first one was a three. Let's go. This one's going to be another three. Let's go. This one's going to be another three. And another three. Oh no, this one's a four. Or maybe it's five. Who knows? It's going to be five. It's going to be five. It's going to be five. No, it's, three. it's a four. This one's going to be a four. Or is it going to be a five? What's it going to be? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Ah. Uh, this is a three. This is a three. Another three. I'm going to take a guess. Three. Yep. And this last one's going to be a four. Unless it's going to pop the five. But I'm going with it's going to be a four star. Told you. Four star. Never cease to amaze me how it's getting cold cocky right in the ding dong. Alright, so as you already know, we're going to one, two, three, bullshit. Straight up like that. I wish that it gave you crystals for getting dupes in this one right here. Because this would be great if it did. Damn, that was ugly. Oh my god, that was bad. That was really bad. Oh, shiznit. Alright, go ahead and do our next pull through. Here's our next pull right here. Three star again. And what are we gonna get? Please be a three. Please be no, please be a four. Five, five, five. Ah, oh, fuck. So, this is the thing it does. When the game, when the new five star comes out, it makes it make you work for it. Mm mm mm. So the next three, the next one's gonna be a three, and then it's gonna be a number four. Huh, so it's gonna actually make me work for it. It's gonna make me work for it again. I don't want to. I, I don't want to. I really don't want to. But it's okay. So this will be our third end. This is gonna be our fourth right here. And we're gonna do our full blown skip through on our fourth. Once we get to our fifth draw, if, unless we get it on this one, it's gonna be one, two, three, and complete and utter bullshit and sadness. Four balls. It did not want me to get the spot skin for free. It wanted to cheese me a bit. I thought we had two over for a minute. But worth it. Okay. So we ended up getting our hands on Own Roy. Let's go ahead over here to the ticket summons. Alright. So you already know how it is. I'm going to do five of them. Hopefully I get it. I don't usually draw for tickets. I don't usually draw for tickets. I'm not going to lie. I don't. Please. And this is why I don't pull for tickets. This is why. Because when you get one, it ain't the one you're calling for. Because it's not even a rate. It's it's a 1% chance that you're getting a, th a 5 star ticket. And it's even less percent that you're going to get the one you want. Which is why I say I'm only going to do this 5 times. Because it's not worth it. Now, will I go and do another draw for Dahlia? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I'm thinking I might... I mean, it'd be cool to get another copy of Dahlia, but see, with the other three being in there, there's no guarantee that I'm going to get Dahlia. Because that's the, really the one I would want in this case is Dahlia. But there's no guarantee. And complete another sadness. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going, like I said, five draws is all I'm going to do here. It's all that's worth to me. I mean, I would love to get that Lisa Carter. Plus, the ones that I don't use. I can always throw them away for fodder, so I mean, it's not like I'm actually killing myself here. We're doing this. I'm just gonna toss them for fodder, and that's all. So this will be the fifth one, right? And sadness. All right, so that's three draws in. Boop. Boop. Is it gonna be? Is it gonna be? I don't think so, homie. It's not gonna give me the cards that I want. It's gonna keep kicking me in the dang lane. And I don't know why. In sadness. Alright, so this is gonna be our last draw because I really don't give a damn. Because, it, and like I said, I ain't gonna keep wasting my sad, my crystals on this because of bullshit. Yup. In utter bullshit. So I'm down to. 3k like I said I do want to do a couple I'm done a 4.1k 4100 so I really do want to do a separate draw for Dahlia I don't need no more of them 
I mean, uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get another Dahlia or a Kaseya. Can I get another Dahlia or a Kaseya? Mm, maybe not. Alright, so the first pull was a dud. We get gold right there. Let's see. Like I said, I'm going to do like two two pulls on this, maybe three. Just see if I can get another Kaseya or a uh, uh, Dahlia. And sadness. Come on, give me one of them at least. Give me one of them. And one, two, three, sadness. All right, I'll do. You know what? I'll do five for good measure because I can always trade these in for Onyx, which is what I really do need anyway. All right, come on, come on, come on. Give me a five. Give me a five. Give me a five. Give me a five. Please, please, please. Sadness. Oh, we got a five. Okay. Please be Dahlia. Please be Dahlia. Or Kaseya. It's Ymir. Ms. Arhat. Like I said, I really didn't need another Arhat, but I mean, it's fodder, so I'll toss it away. I really don't, I really didn't need another Arhat. I really, wait, actually, I think I did need one more Arhat. And Sadness. Oh, we got another five star. Come on. Five pulls. Come on, Dahlia. Okay, I'll take it. We got a Kaseya. All right, so we're done at 20K. I am not drawing anymore. As you can see, my inventory is overloaded right now. I think I did need one more Arhat, though. I think I, yeah, I actually did need one more Arhat. So that was actually, that was worth it. That's a plus six on my Arhat now. The rest of them I'm going to throw away, and I'm going to go ahead and maximize my, uh, where are you? My own Roy Max are out. But I can do that after the fact, Debbie's. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead over. And we're going to go over her skill kit um, and all that good stuff as well, Debbie. So let's go ahead over to our inventory right quick. And as you can see, these are going to be the next ones to drop right here. We're going to be getting Gwyn as well as her sister, which is going to be Suka. So we're getting them as well and on a world boss. All right. So... Let's go ahead and check out these stats. So, first off right here, Divs, as you can see, she is a water type supporter with a basic power level of 2,274. Basic HP is going to be 2,275. Basic attack is going to be 1,068. Basic defense is going to be 848. Basic agility is going to be 788. Followed by her basic crit is going to be maxed out at a grand total of 903. So, as always, this shit is way too small to read through. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up on the browser, Divvies. Just give your boy a second. I didn't think in advance here. My bad, Divs. I'm sorry. Like, every time I forget to pull this up and shit. <laughs> because I'm so used to being able to read it from the game. It's just so hard to see it now. And I can't, like, zoom the heck in on it at all. But the way we do this is we're going to read through the main variant of the skill, the max variant of the skill right here, and the fully ignited variant of the skill. The reason why is if we, when we, the reason why I only go through the max version of everything instead of the main max variant is because it's a very small change in power right here. And I mean, of course, if you level it up to level 10, as you can see on tier one, there is a small change, but it's not that big of a change. So I usually just go through the main and the max version and then the fully ignited max version of it and all so let's go ahead and get started on this part so right here for the main variant of it for your tier one level one out of ten variant of the water attack which is your auto it says two target child deals 102 damage one times more than down to your slot to your tap skill which is called Rendezvous, tier 1, levels 10 out of, levels 1 out of 10. Levels 1 out of 10 is in the name of the skill, it's just tier 1, levels 1 out of 10. And it says, to the target child, deals 100 and, I mean, 401 damage one times. And what it does is, it removes burn and scald to, from two, to two allies, burned and scald, 70% chance of doing it. So, it's a 70% chance of it happening, which is really good and a really high rate. Moving on down to her slide skill, which is called Flinner. Two, two allies, random, two, two enemies, random child, deals 
727 damage one times and what it does by the way this is the tier one levels one out of ten variant just so you don't get so you don't get confused here if you can't see it yourself in game and what it does it increases your crit attack up and it's to three water type allies highest attack with a 50 percent with plus 50 percent for 16 seconds and it also does focus two one water type allies and five person giant bosses highest attack for and it has a 20 i mean a fit 20 mm, i keep saying to one to say 20 of 45 percent chance for 16 seconds Next up, we have her Charmant Rave. I don't know what Charmant means. I, I don't know what the hell this means. I really don't. I wish I did, but I, I don't get me the line. But it's called Charmant Rave. And what it does is to three enemies, three enemies, random childs, deals 1,883 damage one times. And what it does is drive skill addition to five water type allies plus 150 and for her leader buff dibbies what she does is um let me see leader buff crit critical up plus critical attack up to all water type allies for i mean plus 20 percent to all allies i mean for always dibs so and also she does weak point attack up to water type allies and five person giant bosses 20 percent for always so the only reason i was able to see it this time i went over to the game because it's not on the actual picture online for some goddamn reason i don't know what the heck happened but all the skills remain the same in this case so let's move on over here to the max version so for the maxed out version of it dibs this is going to be tier sevens level 10 out of 10 all the way down to the target child's 600 it deals 691 damage one times and that's for the auto this is the last time the auto is going to change by the way or get a power increase period dibs next up dibs that you can see for rendezvous levels levels 10 which is going to be tier 7 now to the target childs deals seven i mean 2588 damage one times and it still does remove burn and scold to two allies burnt and scold it has a 90.1 percent chance now though which is a good reason to complete uncap her next up our flinter which is going to be a slide skill tier one levels 10 out of 10 to the two enemy childs random enemies random childs deals 4800 damage one times it does critical attack up still to three water type allies highest attack and now is at a 105 percent chance for 16 seconds or it gives you 105 percent for 16 seconds of attack next focus is going to do two one water type ally and five percent giant bosses highest attack for 85.2 I mean, percent chance for 16 seconds and of course her her, her drive skill which is charmant rave once again two three enemy two three enemies random childs deals 6966 damage one times and it does still do the drive gauge i mean the drive skill addition to five water type allies plus one five hundred i mean 150 and the leader buff dibs is going to remain the same in this case now finally dibbies as you can see we're first off yes the leader buff remains the same that never changes now finally going on over to the fully max version now, we're going to go ahead and skip past the auto because it does not matter in this case now for her fully ignited tap skill which is rendezvous once again which as you can see it says ignited on the on the top right here tier 7 levels 10 out of 10 to the target childs deals 2613 damage one times it still does scald and burn right now to the three allied childs with scald and burn first 95.1 percent chance now for eight seconds it also going to be doing this for its flinter nail, which is going to be now fully ignited. It's here, sevens level ten out of ten. Two two enemies, child, random child, deals four thousand one hundred eighty four damage one times. And for its actual crit attack up, it's going to be two three water type allies highest attack, and it has a one hundred and ten percent chance. I mean one hundred and ten percent for two turns, which is a real good reason to fully ignite her. That is a damn good reason to fully ignite her. That's two turns right there of complete and utter bus ass of a crit attack.
that's gorgeous. <laughs> Next up right here, we have our focus dibs, which is going to be two, one water type ally and 5% giant bosses, high attack, 90.2% chance, for two turns is another really good reason to fully ignite. And now, finally, moving on down to her fully ignited Charmant Rave. Devs is going to have something added on here. Looks like Skill Boost 2 right here. And it's going to be two, two, three. It was going to be two, three um, random enemies. Ch uh, random enemies, Childs. Deals 7,296 damage one times. It's going to still give us that Drive Skill Addition to the five water type allies plus 150 but for that skill boost plus the skill boost two is going to be two one water type attacker highest attack for three turns and that's going to be a plus 80 percent that is freaking gorgeous i might add that is amazing power at, the moment, at that point i i think she's overall going to be complete bus ass <laughs> completely sexy and overpowered as hell from the very start so most definitely awesome so for her drive skill this is what she does right here as you can see she jumps in the sky and the animation shows are scratching your ass so we're gonna do it again the animations for this game has been getting better and better look at that shit Gorgeous. Once again, one more time. Three for the money, two for the show, and three and one to get ready and for oh I said this shit ass backwards, yo. But awesome overall unit. I really highly suggest it. Do pulling for her if you haven't. We ended up getting our hands on another Artemis, another um our hots as well. So she's now plus six. And we ended up getting our hands on another copy of Baby girl Kaseya so that's definitely worth it I did want to get another copy of Dahlia but unfortunately I didn't does you want to see more summons like this make sure you stay to the end card and all that good stuff you already know the routine here your boy loves DC and all that stuff plus I did draws from Goddess of Victory Nikkei for the new version well for the limited unit versions of um what's her name um Neon as well as May so uh, I, I mean Mary, I said May. So hopefully I got my hands on them. Hopefully, hopefully. Oh God! Well, you gotta look to see if I got my hands on them. I'm not gonna tell you if I did or not, but I'll tell you, we got some pretty good draws though, somewhat. But all right, dibbies, I'm Audi 9000 dibs. If you enjoyed this, I found it helpful. You know the routine. Leave that like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Turn on post notifications. Checking out all social media links that can be found down in the uh, comment yeah. section down below. Up so right now in the pinned comment within my link tree where you can find my Facebook community and gaming page, Twitch and Twitter, Tumblr, Trovo, IG, Discord, and TikTok. All the above you found down there. Over on Discord, you can suggest games to your boy, any of our content you want to see on my channel or my other social media as well. While you're at it, be sure to check out the Destiny Child social media as well as their Discord servers. Discord servers can be found pinned in the pinned comment down below. Gives as well to the international Discord server, the Chinese one, the global one, the the, the Chinese one, the global one. Destiny Child replica is called Star Destiny Child Star, as well as the unofficial Discord server and the official Discord server. On top of that, dibs. Also, be sure to check out the Obscene Amount Facebook community pages out there, as I mentioned their social media. For the same reason, I want you guys to check out the Discord servers. If your boy is unable to help you and you need extra help on any versions of the game. Be sure to do that because they'll definitely help you out in the long run, Dibbies. It's definitely worth it, Dibs, checking it out. Also, be sure to check out... Oh, they put some the God's fan on in cosplay, by the way. Also, be sure to check out the three different Twitters, the JP, the KR, and the Global One, as well as the two Moons. The, uh, I said two Moons. Moons is no longer a thing. Do not go to Moon. It all is dead. It's gone. It's not existent no more. That's why all the updates go through the official Discord server. Also, be sure to check out the three different Reddit, the two different Reddits, though. And with that being said, remember fun is an infant destination. May your hearts be your guiding key. And I'm gonna be real. Fun is an infant destination, may your hearts be your guiding key. And um Omroy, that girl's a dream demon. But them jiggle physics are almost definitely motherfucking key. Hold the good girls, they go to head